In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the rear shocks on your Chevy Sonic. This will be located behind the rear wheel. Let's get started. Using a 19 millimeter socket, remove the five lug nuts. Remove the wheel. Install the jack under the axle and just put a slight amount of pressure on it. Using an 18 millimeter socket, remove the bolt for the shock. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the nut for the fender liner. Using a pair of clip pliers, open up the clip at the bottom and remove it. We're going to peel back the fender liner to access the two bolts holding in the top of our shock mount. Pull this off the stud, pull it back. Using a 15 millimeter socket, remove the bolt. Do the same thing on the other side. This may be slightly tighter. Remove the bolt and the shock assembly. Pull down on the bump stop. Push it all the way down to the top of the shock. Using a pair of locking pliers, we're going to go at the top of the shock pole, clamp it down. Using a 15 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the top nut. Remove the top nut, remove the top bracket. Remove the bump stop and shield assembly. We can discard the old shock. Push down on the top of the shock, compressing it. Remove the band. We're going to cycle this shock three to five times before we install it. To do this, we're just going to push the pole all the way down. Let it fully return and repeat this process three to five times. If you don't cycle the shock, you may have a clunk noise that comes from this until the oil is fully circulated through the shock. Remove the plastic at the top. Install the bump stop assembly. Install the top bracket. Install the nut. Using a 15 millimeter wrench for the nut, We'll use a five millimeter hex head to hold the shock pole and snug the nut down. Get it nice and snug. I'm gonna make a small mark on my shock pole. This way I'll know if the shock pole is twisting or not as I'm tightening the nut. We're going to torque this top nut to 18 foot-pounds. There you go, you can see it turning. You want to avoid that. Grab the shock pole with your locking pliers. Torque the top nut to 18 foot-pounds. Remove the locking pliers. Pull the bump stop up and it's ready to go into the car. Install the shock assembly into the vehicle. Get the bolt started up top. Get these started by hand. Snug the bolts down. Torque the upper bolts to 43 foot pounds. Install the fender liner onto the stud. Install the plastic nut. Snug it down. Install the clip for the fender liner. Install the bottom bolt for the shock.
You can go up or down on the jack to help you install the bolt, get it nice in line. What you don't want to do is let the jack down completely at any point. Since the spring is under tension, it will shoot out if this jack leaves. Snug the bolt down. Torque the bolt to 74 foot-pounds. We're going to go an additional 90 degrees, so we'll mark the head of this bolt and my socket. Install the wheel. Get the lug nuts started by hand. Snug down the lug nuts. Torque the lug nuts in a star pattern to 100 foot-pounds. and you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.